Hi, I'm Kim Rose. Thanks for joining me today to find out where to go. Today, it's all about Park City shopping. From either side of the 80 freeway, you can see the new home of furniture store Sticks and Stones. It's nestled between the Kimball Junction and Jeremy Ranch exits, and it plays host to an array of design styles. I kind of felt like there was something for everybody here mm -hmm. because you do see a lot of the distressed leather pieces, you see a lot of the uh, natural finished woods, but then there's also, you know, kind of contemporary art on the walls. There's a little bit of an Asian influence in the back. Mm -hmm. So would you say there's something for everybody here? You know what, I think so. One of, the, one of the things that we've tried to do here is that we have wanted to be able to bring in all different styles. There's so many different types of people. It's, it's like fashion. I think it's the same thing with our homes, that anything goes. You could go with a real contemporary sofa, but then pop it with a real rustic carved piece. Well, we love the restaurants. We love the ice cream stores. And Rocky Mountain chocolate. With so many art galleries on Main Street alone, it's tough to know where to spend your precious shopping time. And since art is all about personal preference, you'd have to walk into all of them just to see which ones fit your taste. Well, throughout today's show, I'm going to do that work for you. So join me on our very own Main Street Mini Art Walk. There's been a gallery here for the past 12 years, so when I actually took ownership, I just merely continued in that tradition, but brought more museum quality collection here to Park City. Walking through Stanfield Fine Art on Lower Main is different from any other local gallery experience. It's immediately obvious this place sets the bar. There's a lot of really high-end pieces here with, with price tags to match, right? Sure. How educated do you have to be in the field of art to be able to come in here and have an appreciable experience here? The Redstone Shopping Center has been nothing short of a blessing for Kimball Junction. It's a retail and social hub with movies, restaurants, big chains and small boutiques, and one very special toy store. What made us who we are is the locals in town, and uh, and certainly, um, you know, very thankful that uh, the, they solicit the store and love what I've done. Hey, Cole. Indeed, this place is a parent's paradise. Now they have pretty sophisticated toys here, not a lot of that, you know, $9 junk you see at Toys R Us that ends up in the garbage. This store is packed full of timeless and vintage toys that cross all age barriers, and the owner handpicks each one. This is one of my favorite all-time toys. It's Evil vintage Knievel. Evil Knievel. I think the, some of the unique glass pieces we've seen in some of the galleries. The next stop on our art walk takes us to the middle of Main Street. Montgomery Leaf Fine Arts used to be called Tamina Gallery, but a new renovation called for a new name. And despite recent changes, you'll definitely recognize the fine art locals and tourists have enjoyed for 12 years. Oh, the pig. He's, he's our trademark. We have had that pig since we opened the doors. This adorable porker is a must-see at Montgomery Leaf Fine Art. His name? Eat More Beef. So is he actually for sale, or is he's that for a sale. staple of the, of the gallery? He's, he's for sale. He's $33,000, and actually one sold in September to a lady in Michigan. Now what kind of person buys $33,000 pigs? I'm just curious. It takes a certain kind of person. It, re it really does. Of course, the pig's not alone here. You'll find a virtual forest of stunning animal sculptures, both wild and domestic. Welcome back to Where to Go. While shopping is a huge draw to Park City, even the most seasoned shoppers need a respite sometimes. At Solar Nails and Spa on Bonanza, you'll be impressed by the high standards and amazed by the facials for your feet. A lot goes on here at Solar Nails and Spa, but under all the action on hands, feet, and nails lies the salon's real secret to success. 
They're using new tub technology to prevent the nasty bugs you can pick up in nail salons caused by old water remaining in the tub's jets. So in the old system, these jets pump water through the tub, but in the new system, what we're seeing here, these only pump air. Air. Yeah. yeah. So, there's, so there's no chance of any water remaining. As that. Gotcha. When you come here and shop in Main Street, it's like an experience. If you go elsewhere, it's, a, it's another mall, or you, you know the shops the that there will be there, the type of clothes that will be there, and here you can see some cute and nice pieces. The last stop on our Main Street mini art walk is Turgeon Galleries, and it's a real departure from the others we've seen today. Turgeon has plenty of high-end art to satiate collectors, but if you're a non-connoisseur, if you're just out shopping for cool stuff, you're going to find it here. Meet Karen Turgeon, owner of Turgeon Galleries. You'll see a bit of her in every single product she stocks. This gallery really has a different energy and a different feel. It feels very contemporary. I think the colors and shapes that you have everywhere, how, how do you pick them out? People ask me that all the time, Kim. And I have to say that um, after the amount of time I've been in the art world, I go with my instinct more so than um, provenance or integrity of the artist work or history, it's more about if it hits me. Now if you want any more information on any of the places we've seen today, log on to parkcity.tv and click on the where to go link. Thanks for watching Park City Television. I'm Kim Rose and be sure to join me again. I'll tell you where to go.